Hello. This video is going to give you a basic overview of PulseWorks EZ. I'm going to show you what you see and what you can do and not go into greater detail on almost anything. We'll cover that in subsequent videos. So I've gone ahead and I've started up PulseWorks EZ and I've loaded an existing file. So what do we see? We see a ribbon at the top. We see a whole field of icons here. These are all the devices that I have, each one represented by an icon. As you can see, if you're familiar with Upstart, there's no left-hand pane giving you a text version of the same information. So up here we have uh, four different categories of our ribbon. We have the network, which will have things related to the specific network and general operations like we want to program the whole network, or we want to verify the whole network. The devices category gives things that will work with a specific device adding and deleting devices, editing devices, programming devices, and testing devices. And then scenes are all about the kinds of operations you can do with scenes, creating them, renaming them, activating, deleting them, activating and deactivating them, also checking the communication between all the devices within that scene. And then the PulseWorks Gateway category is all the operations that are specific to the PulseWorks Gateway. Let's go back to the network and let's look at a few things here. The Paraline interface allows us to configure it, choose what kind of we have, how to connect and disconnect. Also, as I said, the basic operations for the entire network. So let's look at a few things, like if we select a device, we can then check its properties, as you could do an upstart, and all the general information about the UPB device. We can also sort these by name, we can sort them by type, or if you have an awful lot of devices like this does, we can put in tabs. So this will give us individual tabs, one for each room, showing what all the devices are. So we go ahead and turn that off and go back to the standard view. We can also view this as a series of icons, or if you prefer, we can view it as a list. And of course, all these categories, columns can be resized. And we can do the same basic operations on here as we did before. We can right click and select things. And the, those basic operations, they carry forth when you're working with devices. In scenes, it's a little bit more complicated. We can view the individual scenes in our network, or we can view the controllers that we have. And these are all the things that can transmit scenes. And once again, we can sort them by type or by name. And we're going to see keypads and switches and things like that here. We also have what we call controller edit, which is a much more complicated thing. And we're going to go into that in greater detail in subsequent videos. But basically, what you're going to be able to do with that is you're going to be able to add devices so that when you tap a rock or top or bottom, those devices will be affected in the way that you've programmed it. So if in this case I've got dining room lights, I could make different lights come on when I tap the rocker in addition to the load. Go ahead and close that. And that's really pretty much about the basic tour I wanted to show. Um, oh, I might as well cover the last couple of things are how to open the application menu. And in here we have your basic operations for open and save, ability to configure the power line interface to get at the Engra button engraving information, printing, all the things that you'd be used to. Also over here we have the style, and if you like you can change the colors. I happen to like the black one. And if you want you can find out what version number you're using and information like that. At this point in time that's really all I wanted to show you. Subsequent videos will go into greater depth on all of these features.